All right, we're out exploring again today. We're down near the, so we're still around the Lithgow Blue Mounds area, just, just down near Rydal and Lake Lyle. So it's like just around the surface. Yeah, it's a little bit sort of- A bit west of Lithgow. Yes, yeah, southwest. So from what we've looked at, there's, um, there's tracks everywhere out here. Obviously there's a lake. It's a beautiful day today. It's going to be high 20s. So uh, it's going to be absolutely just beautiful day. We don't really know where we're going. We know there's a couple of sort of pretty, pretty main tracks out here, some river crossings, some just beautiful little uh, spots to go and check out. So that's the objection today. Uh, same as normal, just wing it, <laughs> take some tracks and just wing it and see what happens. So mega, mega excited to get out uh, and explore this area because after this, uh, we are, this is going to be our last day exploring this area until uh, sometime next year. So after today, we're starting to head south. So extra, extra, going to enjoy this one. bit of a, uh, it's quite skinny actually, isn't it? It goes into, you sort of slip in. Very there, narrow. Doesn't it? Mm. It's all rock hard though, I think. All right, you've got a nice little bit of a uh, rocky entrance into a bit of water here. It all looks, all looks firm. I have to always, always check it out, especially when it's some murky uh, water being uh, caught out before, but it's very skinny uh, getting into it, so it might be a little bit interesting. Yep, come to drive the side a bit more. Drive a, drive a bit more. He's about to drop in now. Straighten up. Yep, straighten up. That was easy, that was rock hard straight through there. But now I have the fun of trying to walk across or back to the car. See this little path here, Josh was like, it's fine, you'll be able to walk across there. So let's see how I go. We found a fire truck hill. I've actually seen quite a quite a fair bit about this, and it is steep. It is friggin', it's up there with one of the probably the most steepest I've driven, possibly. Um, there's a pretty easy line around the outside that's just pretty pretty straightforward. Um, there's a line in the middle which looks like kind of the harder line. There's a line on the right that that's extreme. I'm not doing that, but. Even just to get in, it's pretty gnarly. So we're going to have a little bit of a go up the le at the middle line. We are just by ourselves here, but we're trying to um, just take it nice and easy and see how it feels. And uh, hopefully from there, it should be pretty straightforward. But I'm not going to lie, I'm, uh, I, I, I get nervous when I get to things like this. Scared to be honest. This looks, you know, how I was talking before. I said it should be alright. This look, it looks so bad from here. Alrighty, see how this feels. I try the uh, slow approach. It's always my approach first, and then uh, see how it feels.
up. What? That's not a good angle. Bang. You'll actually roll the car if you keep going. Oh, no. Nah, seriously. Well, this is the thing I don't like about having just a front lock. I was just trying to take the nice, easy approach, but this always starts spinning the car that way. This bloody winch is playing up again. It's been fine, but there's something not right in it. And this is not the place I want that, want that to happen because it spun me across. I okay, keep going back. That's the rear's going to climb. It's going to put the front up and not good. So got it there to the to the tree it's not ideal but I'm just gonna use that to just slowly sort of pull me this way a little bit I think I might just I think I might just reverse down it I think <laughs> should I reposition it and just go straight ahead okay so this tree just in front of me yeah, do you think I'll be safer? Yeah, probably. to get the uh get the heart racing straight into it <laughs> again it's uh i felt like i was kind of just about up but then again just the that it, it never it's i'm gonna look back on video and probably be like yeah it doesn't look that bad but once i was able to secure the winch on there and get out and have a look if i was spotting someone i would have said i would have said don't go back because yeah. that rear wheel you couldn't see it it's like it was just going back in i needed the turn like I was, the angle was quite more than what it looked like and if you went back just, it, it would have been just going up the wall, which would be making this front go up. And I was on like, it was like a 35 degree angle. Mm. So um, it's, yeah, it's it's not uh, not no ideal. Idea. So, but again, it's just, my confidence has been down a bit since we haven't had this rear diff lock. It might sound a bit shit, but like when you're on tracks like that, um, man, you need it. Like that's all that happens is like the front lockers is obviously, it's good, but as you've seen what happens just then, like once you sort of get to the top, if I maybe just, I, I probably should have just dedicated and just went oh, for the, it. I, I the think. line that you were taking and that you were on was perfect, but that locker just started swinging you the wrong way yeah, and think, it threw yeah. everything off. I think if I just committed and just got me up, I probably would have been okay. Yeah. Um, but again, we're just trying to take it easy. But yeah, that's exactly what happens in the Kenilworth too. Sort of got up and then just, mm. and it just, it just throws you to the side. Mm. And then when you're on a hill like that, it's, it puts you in quite a, quite a situation, but situation. I think we might try and take the hard tracks until we, um, you know, we're going back for Christmas and we're going to get this rear diff lock fixed. The winch is playing up again. It was, it was fun. I think I spoke about it on one of the recent episodes because I spoke to Ultra Winch and yeah, the, I think it's the control box where the solenoid that is because yeah, it was. I gave it a bit of love tap and it'd been working. Like we winched the other day to winch um to winch Lauren and Craig out of that massive bog hole, but it was still just like sounding weird and just then when it cut out up there i'm just like if this is fully cut out like i that would have been a situation so yeah i'm not having a good run of winches <laughs> like I, that's the that's the third one now it's done the exact same thing and it just yeah. it just makes me lose trust in the friggin things but when but, they're the number one thing you're you need and oh when trust. we're solo like that like there's no one else there to, to, yeah it's could have been interesting like you know it's um very 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 important thing to have but yeah they're, they're going to send us a new control box or yeah, we'll just we'll just see how it how it goes um but yeah it's just it's the trust thing for me i've got trust issues with uh with winches massively but anyway we're through we're through safe that's the main objective so we're going to just keep going around and try and it's bloody hot so we might try and get down near some uh, get down to some river tracks and um yeah find somewhere for lunch and my feet are nice and cool still yeah you're walking through that mud hole <laughs> <laughs>
right, Michaela didn't want to get a didn't want to get her boots wet. It's a bit of, <laughs> a bit of a uh, river crossing here, so oh, generally she doesn't want to. She doesn't really want to drive when we're out uh, on sort of tracks and all that sort of stuff. But it's a nice, safe river crossing, so I'm like, I'll get my boot, boots wet for you, darling. You are uh, jump in and have a drive, so it should be a. Uh, it should be a nice, uh, fun one for her, actually. Now it's Josh's turn to get his boots all wet and squelchy for the day. I'm gonna drive across this little bit of a creek. Ah! Ah! <laughs> wet socks all day. If that was her, I wouldn't have heard the bloody end of it. <laughs> all right, you should be good to aim between those two rocks that I said. First gear low, just a nice, little little pace so i don't don't flood the car i've just got it in drive not manual is that okay uh you sure right just look across the uh number one just so it doesn't try and change gears on you where's number one is number one like the big red number one in the middle is that what that means there's only one number one sweetie and that's you my darling <laughs> and that's you my darling <laughs> come on let's go you make me nervous Drive between these rocks. That'd be great. Take my way with it. Girl, how'd that feel? That was cool. Well done. <laughs> there you go. I hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to take a quick moment to let you guys know what we offer for you on our website. We've got a full range of traveling campers merch. We've got men's, women's, kids tees, and we've even got some hoodies and stickers as well. We've also got information about our setup and we've also got a full detailed rundown on there of how we've gone from Back in the day, we've been following for a while to rarely travel into now traveling full time. We share absolutely everything on there with how we've done it. And there's an opportunity in there if it interests you uh, to check it all out. And maybe even 2023 is the year to make a change for you. You can jump on there, go through a quick, uh, a quick process or jump in the DMs on our social media. You'll be in contact with our personal assistants and we're about to help you guys out. Now we don't ask for much, but take a quick second to jump on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like. Also drop a comment below of what your favorite part of the episode was. And you can also turn the little bell reminder so you don't miss any moments of traveling campers. Thanks so much guys. Enjoy the rest of the episode. This is something different. We actually got to drive uh, down the river. <laughs> I haven't done this in a very long time, so I just flew the drone down to make sure that it all looks uh, all looks good. But um, get the undercarriage a bit of a bit of a wash. Oh, that was cool.
Well, we're all done on the tracks for today. We probably knocked off about three o'clock, I reckon. We've just come back. I wanted to get going and um, get into town and give the car a bit of a clean. She's uh, been doing a lot of a lot of forward driving lately, and we're hitting the highway tomorrow, so we've got to make it uh, looking nice to uh, to hit the highway. So we're staying here. I just want to quickly show you guys. Staying at Lake Wallace. It's just about. 12 k's uh, north of lift goes so it's just a it's actually it's just a free camp some massive areas actually some beautiful spots over there uh, along the water as well when we come in there was a few few people around so we're just sort of up in the corner here um busy on weekends honestly i genuinely try and avoid sort of places like this especially on weekends but there's only one other wiki uh sorry a hip camp down the road that wants to stay at but uh it was full so we're only here for a bit so we decided we're just um we're just hanging out here we pretty much weren't even here for the days anyway but Awesome little spot to come here for a couple of days. It's like tracks and places to explore, like just down the road. So epic, uh, epic spot for that. But again, just while we've been here, the weather's been amazing. Uh, we're heading down to Wollongong tomorrow. We're hopefully meeting up, or we are. <laughs> we're meeting up with Steve, uh, Steve from Bush Barriers, actually. We've never met him in person before. So we're going down there, so I kind of lined up. So I'm not sure if we're gonna go in and try and have a look at uh, where they print the Bush Barriers and that or not. We're just gonna um, catch up with him either way. Uh, he's been a follower of ours for a very long time, so we're excited to catch up with those guys. And bittersweet, it's uh, we're excited to hit the road and um, make some tracks. But yeah, this, this is um, sort of like a week. Oh, what are we now? No, two weeks before Christmas, actually. So we plan on being back in Madura um, about a week before Christmas. Going to spend Christmas with the family and all that sort of stuff. So definitely mega excited for that band. It's just come around so uh, so friggin' fast, but it's been an absolute amazing way to uh, and just destinations and weather to wrap up the year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? There's all thorns. It's a thorny bush. Ah! Yeah, be careful. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Man. Ow. It's all stuck to me. Good girl. Go girl, you the best girls. Go girl, the best girl. What's that like? Now I've got wet squatchy boots for the rest of the day. Let's turn the camera off. Did you shit yourself, Georgia? Get me out of here.